back to my channel magnolia budgets or if you're new hello welcome i am so glad to have you here today we do all things cash stuff and budget planning saving challenges and honestly just all things dealing with money and of course we come here to chat so you guys for today's video i am going to be cash stuffing my cash envelopes and sinking funds so let's go ahead and see how much money we're going to be stuffing today y'all i brought back out my pink um locker it is so super cute i got it from timu um, I know some people have a love-hate relationship with Timu, but that is where I got it from. Alright, so let's go ahead and count and see how much money we're going to be stuffing today. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. So $123 is what we're going to be stuffing today. It's a really good amount. Y'all, I'm sorry for my voice, okay? <laughs> I feel like it sounds weird, but I had a sore throat for a couple days now and I finally went to the doctor um yesterday so let's go ahead and get right into the cash stuffing all right so we're going to be stuffing a total of 263 dollars today um usually I think it's 262 but we do have an extra dollar today which is no issue at all so let's go ahead and go into my cash wallet but yes basically like last Friday my throat was itchy, um, but before that, like at the beginning of last week, my fiance had the strep throat, so I figured he gave it to me, but my throat was just itchy, so I took Zyrtec, and I was taking it up until, I took it up until Monday, so Monday night, I didn't take it, and that's when I noticed that my throat was like hurting, so I went to the doctor on Tuesday, but they said I didn't have strep throat, but they still gave me the medicine, so... I feel better today uh, I feel better y'all maybe it was just my body telling me that I needed a break but I haven't really been in an office like I want it to be um, so far this week so tonight I get to go back into the office finish up some orders and I'm hoping to get all orders out tomorrow so I'm excited about that 20 40 60 80 I have $80 in self-care so I'm super excited because I know y'all want y'all orders. Y'all want to be able to do y'all savings challenges. A lot of besties have been ordering um, like the monthly challenge and the 5K, 2K, um, you know, different things like that. So I know y'all want y'all stuff. I haven't forgot about y'all. <laughs> All right, so miscellaneous has zero. It's not going to get anything. My fur babies are going to get $10, y'all. My dog's cough went away, so I'm so excited about it. I gave her, like, warm water with honey in it, and it seemed like after that, she wasn't coughing as much, so I was, I'm so excited about that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, so 150. $150 in fur babies. Y'all, my dog Brownie, every time I buy him a new bed, he messes it up. You know, he wants to pee on it, poop on it, throw up on it. I don't know what he's doing, but I literally, the last bed that I took, it didn't last a day. It didn't last a day. I literally took it, put it in a trash bag, and he hasn't had a bed since. <laughs> Y'all, it costs to keep buying beds, buying beds, buying beds. Like, no. No. I'm like, if that's the case, you don't need a bed. And then this morning, my fiance lets him out. And it's crazy because y'all know that, well, some of y'all know that he's from my other dog. So he's a, he's my other dog's kid. And the dad is a neighbor's dog. So it was three, it was originally four puppies, one passed away. Three dogs is what was left. So how about yesterday um the lady that i sold brownie's brother to he's lost he's lost and then this morning brownie doesn't want to listen he's out and about doesn't want to come in and i'm telling my fiance i'm like come on now you're supposed to be out there watching him and he's out there but he ain't watching him he's just standing there you know calling her names and i'm like no you have to go and see where he's going you know, stop him from going all to the neighbor's yards and stuff. And so he comes back and he's like, I ain't got time for this. I got to get ready for it. This, that, and third. I'm like, all right, let me go out there. Y'all, I call Brownie's name like twice and he comes. And my fiance is just side-eyed me. I'm like, I can't help it. <laughs> 
20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. The other 50 is from my fiance because um, he had gave me his money already. I stuffed his envelopes already. Y'all know I don't stuff his envelopes on camera anymore because sometimes he'll stuff and sometimes he won't. He has been consistent so far this year, but there's no need to be starting with his cash stuffing and then half of the year, you know, he ain't stuffing anymore. So five, six, seven, eight. We have eight dollars in gas. Okay, so shopping is empty, Starbucks, date night, and then I do have some money that needs to go to the bank. I also need to pay my light bill, but I need to get the money onto my card. And I had one of those like card clamp things, but I broke it. And so I have to wait until my fiance is free for me to go put money on my card or I have to go to the bank, which I don't really feel like doing because the only time I have time to do that is on my lunch break. And who wants to spend their lunch break at the bank? Not me. All right, so let's go ahead and go into sink of funds. So I remember what I was talking about last video because obviously I went back and edited it and one of my besties let me know what I was talking about in the comment section. So vacation is going to get $28. So 20 5 Six, seven, and eight. Okay, so yeah, I applied for this program that gave me some money at my job. So, anyways, I got awarded seventeen fifty, and I was gonna ask y'all, what do y'all think I should do with the money? Because the original plan was to at least take a thousand of it and to um, pay down my student loan debt because I do have like when I go in and look, I had some thousand dollar loans, and I think. Overall, I think I have like $24,000 in debt as far as um, school. And then I have like another 20 something thousand for my car. So those are the only two debts that I have now. I think my student loan says I won't pay off my student loans until 2035, which is crazy to me. <laughs> that is so crazy because that's a long time to pay a bill and my bill is $106 a month. That's a very long time. So even if I do pay down some of my debt, the bill is gonna still stay the same, but I just don't wanna pay on it as long. So we have one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. So 385, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. So 396. 396 in vacation. Um, so I'm I'm really thinking about putting a thousand towards my student loan debt. I don't know what to do with the 750. I could pay that towards it as well. So y'all let me know what y'all think I should do. There is a couple things that I do need to get for the house, but I could probably save up for that. Like I need a new battery for my vacuum. My Dyson vacuum, y'all. I haven't been able to vacuum in like a month. I feel like no, I haven't. I haven't vacuumed since January. I think it is since December, January. So I'm gonna let me use her vacuum. So five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. So I really need to vacuum, but they're only like thirty five dollars. I do need to take the dogs to the vet to get all of their shots and whatnot. My mom is also supposed to be giving me her puppy. Her dog had puppies and she's going to give it, give me one, which if she keeps him or her, I wouldn't be mad because <laughs> I have enough um, dogs in the house. But, you know, I'm just, I love dogs. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60 in car maintenance. It's just a lot of maintenance and it takes a lot of money. They're not cheap, so I don't know. Vacation has 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. Y'all, I'm so excited about my fiance's birthday. Like, y'all just don't know. So I also have to order some more stuff for his birthday. I need to order like a basket and whatnot so I could put all his goodies inside of his basket so i'm so so excited about this y'all it's gonna be a, a long road trip because i think it's i think it's is it 12 hours so it's 12 hours he doesn't know yet y'all so it's 12 hours 
and i'm just so excited it's gonna be a road trip for us and it's crazy because on my vision board on my manifestation vision board because i wanted to manifest some things into my life i put that i wanted to travel so i'm gonna go to a new place that i've never been um i've been to the state but i haven't been to you know the area the, the city i guess um so i'm so excited about it and i get to do something new so I'm so excited. Y'all just don't even know. And I can't wait to see his face. The only thing is, is what I'm doing for his birthday is like two weeks after his birthday. So I think I'm going to still have to end up doing something for his birthday. Unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because what I'm doing for his birthday two weeks later is already so expensive. It's over a thousand dollars. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. We have $35 in manifest. Y'all, let me tell y'all, I've been so good. Uh, I've been so good, um, like, spending time with Jesus, like, reading my Bible on my iPad, um, listening to the lives, the pastor's lives, and keeping my faith. And I know I say this all the time, but it's just so crazy. Y'all have to try it. Like try to change your mindset and the way of thinking. And if like you get a negative thought, just understand and realize that that's not coming from God. That is definitely the devil. And y'all, it makes me feel so much better because I am easily stressed and I get anxiety and I feel like I've been doing so well. Like, pat on the back to me, right? <laughs> Y'all should be happy for me. Y'all should be happy. All right, month ahead. So, 120, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. So, 167. So, um, I know everybody has been working on goals. Leave a comment down below if you have accomplished some of your goals so far. If you have, what did you accomplish? Because I want to know. And I want to congratulate you ahead of time because I'm so excited for you. All right, so weddings, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So 50 in weddings, zero in baby Maggie because that's not a priority right now. Um, I'm so excited, y'all. Wedding update. So I got a new, another appointment this month. Zero in water bill as well. I got an appointment this month. My florist, me, and the wedding planner is going to go and go. Uh, we're going to go back to the venue. So I'm going to get to see what's new. I'm going to see what's new. Um, and the florist is going to kind of tell us maybe what we should do as far as flowers and, and stuff. Um, y'all, but tell, I don't know if I told y'all, but tell me why we was like hitting up the other person that we were communicating with for the venue and she was not responding. And so, um, I had looked online and it's a different number. So I had told my wedding plan, I think it's a different number. And so she calls the number. How about the lady that we were working with and talking to doesn't even work there anymore. And I was so scared. I'm like, do I still have my venue date and everything? Cause I'm like, you know, I'm just, I was panicking a little bit. Cause I'm like, what? She didn't, they, nobody contact us, let us know anything about owners being switched. So anyways, that was a little nerve-wracking, but I still have my wedding date, so I'm so excited. And I'm going to get go back to the venue soon, so I'm so excited. Anyways, thank you all so, so, so much. That is the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to your friends up on my channel. So come on over here, budget with us, chat with us a little bit. Go check out my website, magnoliabudgets.com. Go check out my Etsy shop as well. It is linked down below in the description box. I'm sure there's something over there that you will love. And I will catch you guys in my next video. All right. Bye.